Hello campers, it's Miss Kiara here for week four. I can't believe we only have two more weeks of camp left. That's so crazy. Well, I hope you guys are having a great summer and you're getting to have a little bit of fun even though coronavirus is still a thing and we have to wear masks outside. But I hope you guys are wearing your masks and washing your hands and keep it clean and safe while you're at home with your families. I want to remind you guys that you must watch the videos and comment in the comment box answering the question that me or another instructor asks you so that you can get credit for watching the video and you can get an incentive. I will be going over this week our interview your parents portion where you will see a picture of my mom and me and the special occasions page in our packet. We only have I believe three, two or three more pages left in our packet and then we're done. I can't wait to see what your packet looks like when it's all finished. So for the interview your parents page this week, it says, what has been the biggest, cha biggest change? How are you finding homeschooling? How many days you spent inside? How you're feeling? Your top three moments from this experience what activities slash hobbies have made you have you most enjoyed doing? What are you most thankful for? What your favorite TV show is? Your new favorite inside family activity? Your favorite food to bake? Your favorite time of day? And your goals for after this quarantine? So this is supposed to be an interview with your parents. I unfortunately cannot have my mom in my video, but I did ask her all of these questions. So let's see what her answers were. So for what your biggest change has been during quarantine, during the pandemic, COVID-19, my mom said that the biggest change was having all three of her kids in the same house. So I am the oldest and I have a little sister, Naya, and a little brother, Tyreek. And me and Naya are in college, so we are not at home from like August until November and then we go back to school and we come home in December for Christmas and then we're at home for like a month and then we go back to school. So this time around, we were home for five months. Instead of only being home for, let's see, May, June, July, August. Actually, we were home for a lot longer, but we've been home since March. So we had April, May, June, July. Been in the house for three months. That's so crazy. Um, For how are you finding homeschool? She said, great, because we're old enough to do our own work, so she doesn't have to help us that much. Unlike some of you guys, you guys are a little bit younger, so your parents probably still have to help you some. My mom has spent 120 days inside. Isn't that crazy? 120 days. That's literally just from February until now. She is feeling great, but she wishes she could go on vacation. Her top three moments from this experience are getting, getting to spend time with my siblings and I, getting back into baking, and she makes the best desserts ever, and making our favorite meals. My favorite meal is mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. My brother loves mac and cheese too. It's one of his favorites. My sister, hmm, lasagna. She loves, loves, loves lasagna. So we had lasagna at least once while we were in the house. We had mac and cheese about two times, I think. It was so good, though. Let's see. We have what activities slash hobbies have you most enjoyed doing? And my mom said baking and cooking. And I will include a pretty, pretty picture of the cake that my mom just made for my sister's birthday this weekend. She turned 19 and my mom made her this beautiful cake with purple sprinkles. It was awesome, guys. It was awesome. Um, what you are most thankful for? She said her children, especially me because I'm the favorite. What TV show you watched? She watched Arrow on Netflix. She loves it. She gave it a 10 out of 10. Her new favorite, her newfound favorite inside family activity is 
watching binge worthy TV shows on Netflix, Netflix will save your life. I bet some of you guys already know that though. Her favorite food to bake is almond vanilla pound cake. And her favorite time of day is 5 p.m. because that's when she gets the clock out of work and spend time with us. And her goals for after this quarantine are to get back into working out regularly and being able to go to the gym and go outside and have fun with her friends. Because we've been inside and my mom's been in the house since February since she has surgery, she really hasn't been able to see a lot of her friends or go out like she normally used to. So she's really excited to do that once COVID has calmed down some and the cases aren't spiking. Next. We have special occasions. So it says, what occasions did you celebrate during this time? Write the list down here and what you did to celebrate. And then it gives you the example of St. Patrick's Day, Easter, birthdays, and anniversaries. So the first one I have is Easter. And we spent time inside the house. We cooked a dinner together and we had a great day. We relaxed. Um, my next event is my sister's birthday and it was June 25th. So just this past weekend and I got to see my boyfriend and we got to spend time with some of our family friends while social distancing and staying safe and clean. And then another event I wrote was me and my boyfriend's one and a half year anniversary on April 14th. So we've officially been dating for a year and a half. Um, I don't really have any other events, but other special occasions were being able to tutor one of my close friends, Olivia. She is in sixth grade, um, coming back to camp, um, being able to go shopping. I got to go shopping this past weekend and it was great, even though I have to wear a mask. I know masks can be really annoying, guys, but you must, must wear them. I don't want you guys to get sick, and I don't want to get sick myself. So I always make sure that I wear my mask. I always make sure that I wipe my carts down before I use them. And I always make sure that I don't touch people or people aren't touching me and we aren't having our six feet apart. Um, I can't really think of any other events that I did. I did do a lot of fun things during quarantine, like painting. I really love art. And I know a couple of you guys get to paint with Miss Sierra. And I think Miss Erica, you guys get to paint and do different crafts. And I love doing crafts, so I started painting. And I've been doing a lot of online shopping because I am moving into my apartment when I go back to school. So I've been online shopping. I've been watching Netflix. I've been painting, I've been talking to my friends on the phone. I got to go out to dinner with one of my best friends this past weekend as well because she turned 21 today. So that was something else fun that I got to do. But that's really it. I've just been working and relaxing. So let me know in the comment box. Um, maybe share one thing from your interview with your parents. You can either share something they thought or... You can share what your favorite part of quarantine was with your parents. My favorite part of quarantine with my family was being able to spend more time with my family. Even though I had to leave school early and I couldn't see my friends for a couple months. I haven't seen my friends in a couple months. I was so happy to come home and be able to spend time with my brother, who I love so much. And my sister, who I love so much, but I don't see very much, even though we're at school at the same time. And, of course, I got to spend time with my mom. My mom is one of my best friends, and I love her so much. And so is my brother and sister. So that was one of the best things from quarantine that I have to share with you. I love you guys very much. I hope you guys watch this video. I hope you enjoy this video. I can't wait to hear one of the things that you can share that you share from one of your sheets with me. You can even share two things if you want. I just miss you guys so much. Make sure you're staying healthy, clean, wash your hands, wear your mask, and watch the video. Bye guys.